Republican Ohio Senator J.D. Vance sparred Sunday with NBC host Kristen Welker over her appearing to legitimize former top Department of Justice, DOJ, official Matthew Colangelo's joining the team of Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. Vance appeared on Meet the Press to discuss the implications of the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling on former President Donald Trump's presidential immunity before Welker pivoted to a statement by the former president on political opponents. Following a June 13, 2023 clip in which Trump could be heard announcing at a rally he would appoint a special prosecutor to look into President Joe Biden and his family, Welker asked Vance if he supported the move. The Ohio senator started his response calling out how Democrats have lost their mind over the clip. He then referenced the House Oversight Committee's investigation into Biden and his family and the connection between the Biden administration and Trump's indictments. Welker, however, pushed back, stating that Biden did not directly appoint a special prosecutor before asking the senator again if he would support the move by Trump. I would absolutely support investigating prior wrongdoing by our government. Absolutely, that's what you have to have in a system of law and order, Kristen, but I have to reject the premise here. Joe Biden appointed the Attorney General, Merrick Garland, who, of course, answers to Joe Biden, can be fired by Joe Biden, Vance said. So the idea that the Biden administration has nothing to do with the appointment of the special prosecutor, I think, completely betrays an understanding, a misunderstanding of how our system of government actually works. Of course, Kristen, we have to make this point, Kristen, that the prosecution of Donald Trump in New York, which I think now has fundamentally been thrown in doubt by this immunity case, it was one of the main guys, was a Department of Justice official in the Biden administration who jumped ship to join a local prosecutor's office to go after Donald Trump. And yet the DOJ told Congress, Welker attempted to jump in. If that doesn't make you question the legitimacy of the prosecution, that's a problem, Vance finished. Well, Senator, that happens all the time, people are appointed from Washington. But the DOJ told Congress, testified this week, Welker said. In addition to spending two years with Biden's DOJ, Colangelo worked for the president as an acting associate attorney general. He then left to join Bragg's team in December 2022 as lead prosecutor prior to the Trump trial in Manhattan. After Colangelo joined the team, he led the probe into the Trump Foundation, resulting in its dissolution before moving on to Trump's falsified records case. Federal Election Commission records from 2018 show the former top DOJ official received thousands of dollars from the Democratic National Committee, DNC, for political consulting. Subscribe and click the bell icon for the more videos.